This is Oklahoma Inside Out, a weekly broadcast of Cimarron Alliance that focuses on the issues, culture, and people important to LGBT Oklahomans. And now, here is your host for Oklahoma Inside Out, Scott J. Hamilton. Hi, and welcome to this edition of Oklahoma Inside Out. I'm happy that you are with us today. I'm amazed at how much has been going on in and around central Oklahoma since the beginning of the year. And our guest today will tell us about a very, very important event coming up very soon. It's something that has a a life-changing impact for a lot of people, and so I know you'll want to hear all about it. At our President's Roundtable last week, we all shared our events and programs and calendars for the next several months, and truly there is so much happening, and it's all good. The wind of change certainly is blowing through Oklahoma. I'm glad that you're a part of that, and I'm glad to be a part of that too, working together I think we really can make a great change. Just a quick thanks to Catherine Primus, who joined us as our guest last week. And we're going to listen to what our guests have to tell us today, after we take a look at news making the headlines this week. A man who admitted to assaulting another man at a Detroit gas station because he believed the victim was gay has been sentenced to 18 months in prison for the hate crime. Two daughters of the founder of Topeka anti-gay, quote, church have left the group and apologized for any hurt they may have caused. Megan Phelps Roper and her sister Grace Phelps Roper are the granddaughters of Fred Phelps, whose Westboro Baptist Church is known for protesting at funerals for service members and gay people around the country. They are the daughters of Shirley Phelps Roper, a prominent spokeswoman for the group. The Kansas City Star reports the two left the church last November. Steve Drain, a spokesman for the church, says the sisters have rejected the Lord and are headed for hell. Last week in the Texas House, Democratic Representatives Rafael Anchia and Garnet Coleman filed twin resolutions which proposed, quote, a constitutional amendment to repeal the constitutional provision providing that marriage in this state consists only of the union of one man and one woman and prohibiting this state or a political subdivision of the state from creating or recognizing any, any legal status identical or similar to marriage. One can only hope that Oklahoma legislators are paying attention to this and might take it as a very good idea for our state. That's news this week. I said at the top of our broadcast that we have two guests with us today who are talking about an event that can be life-changing for people who attend and the people that they work with. And I'm really happy uh, that they are here today, and I'm happy that we're doing this in the state of Oklahoma. We are talking about the College Summit, which is coming up this weekend. And our guest today from UCO, the University of Central Oklahoma, the SAFE group there, Alex Baker and J. Michael Johnson. Alex, welcome. Thank you so much. J. Michael, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Glad to be here. So this is uh, the second annual college summit. Uh, The first one was at OCU, uh, probably OSU in Stillwater last year. And you guys are hosting the program this year. Uh, This is a program of, of 10, the Equality Network, correct? Correct. So how, how is it that you guys got to host this event? Um, I think that the way it worked was because UCO is such a centralized location to all the other colleges that are around. Um, It's something that we definitely wanted to do, and so we were looking into doing it. Um, And so I think we just contacted uh, the Equality Network and said, hey, we really would like to host it here. Um, And since it was so centralized, everyone thought it was a great idea. I'm I'm going to give you more credit than that. I think it actually has less to do with geographic location and more to the fact that SAFE, it truly is a model for uh, a gay-straight alliance on campus. You guys have grown enormously over the last several years, and you're doing a lot of good work. So I I just need to point that out, that um, I think that you can indeed be seen as a model for other colleges, not just in Oklahoma, but around the country, because the work that you're doing uh, truly is profound. I'm, I'm, I continue to be amazed at the growth and the good work that you're doing. So I just wanted to get that out up front because I'm, I'm very proud of the work that's being done at SAFE. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let's. Th- this is coming up this Saturday. What time does it begin? 
It begins at, uh, it's on, you know, Saturday, February 16th, right. Right, from 10 to 5 um, p.m. 10 to 5, that's a full day. Tell us, uh, first of all, who, who is who is coming and who is invited to, to be a part of this event, Alex? Everyone is invited to come to this event. Oh, so you don't have to be a college student? Um, I don't think that you do. I think it's colleges, but I don't think, I mean, we're definitely not going to turn anyone away. That's for sure. Um, but I know we have uh, people from OCU, OSU, OU, um, of course, UCO that I know of um, as far as colleges are coming. And I, the guest list so far, I think we're, we're definitely in the triple digits so far. Wow, that's, we've, that's amazing. We've also opened it up to um, high school um, LGBT uh, organizations as well. So that's a change from last year. That's an, that's an addition. Oh, that's really, really good. Um, how how about schools further f- further from a further distance? Are they coming as well? Um, I don't know for sure. Um, I do think that they that we reached out to them and said, "Hey, just so you know, we're hosting this." Um, I don't know if they plan on coming or not, um, but I can definitely find out. I hope so that they will. I hope so, too. I was talking with Tenet Emmons uh, last week, who is the faculty sponsor at OCCC for their GSA, and he said that they had something like 30 people coming. So that's really uh, terrific to see not just leaders of organizations, but but people who are involved who want to understand more what's going on in the community and and get better acquainted with people. And I think that this is a great way to do this because you all know as leaders within your own organization that that in that position, you start to grab a hold of some of the issues that are important. And, and your advocacy work now will certainly serve you as you enter into your career. Who, who are um, some of the, the speakers this Saturday. Some of the speakers this Saturday is actually our UCO president, uh, Dr. Don Betts. He will be speaking there. Really? Uh, that shows that he's really interested in what we're doing as uh, you know, a community as well. He's been a great uh, supporter of everything we've done so far at the university. Uh, I believe Jeff Riles and Terry Dennison and Paula um, Schoner. Okay, so can, can you tell me what they're, they're talking about? I know. I know. Jeff uh, is an attorney, and he is a member of the Summerall Alliance Board of Directors. Um, what, what, what is he speaking about? Um, I don't know exactly what he's speaking about. I still have the rough copy of the uh, agenda, but I do know that he is our keynote speaker for the day. Um, he will be speaking uh, right before lunch. Um, from what I hear, it's going to be incredible. I think uh, Brandon White, the president of SAFE, I think they kind of talked it out and kind of laid down what Jeff is going to be talking about. So I'm excited to hear that. I know that Jeff is is quite well informed about the two cases before the Supreme Court regarding marriage equality, and it wouldn't surprise me at all if that factors prominently into his talk. You said uh, Paula Schonauer is going to be there. Um, great author, terrific writer, um, just a, a really great friend uh, of the community. That's going to be a great presentation. Have you heard her, her present before? She has presented a couple of times uh, over the past three years that I've been involved in SAFE. Um, and every time I'm just blown away as to what she has to say. I couldn't agree more. We're, uh, we're going to come up on a break now. We'll be back after this. Hi, I'm David Macy, a board member of the Cimarron Alliance, and I'm asking for your help. We work every single day to make life better for gay Oklahomans, now and for generations to come. But we can't do it without you. Please consider making a gift of just $20 a month to the Cimarron Alliance and be a part of our march toward equality. Visit www.cimarronalliance.org today and make your pledge. It's a gift you can feel good about giving. It's a brand new year and the Oklahoma Observer has a brand new look. We asked our readers what they wanted, and we've given it to them. Now, the Oklahoma Observer arrives in your mailbox in a convenient magazine format. That means more room for more stories that are important to you. What's more, our online version at www.okobserver.net is updated throughout the day so you have instant access to the news, analysis, and in-depth reporting that you just can't find anywhere else. The legislature will soon be in session, and you can count on the Oklahoma Observer to be your eyes and ears at the Capitol and beyond. If you're a progressive Oklahoman, 
You owe it to yourself to be informed about issues and legislation that impact you, your family, and the LGBT community. Visit www.okobserver.net today. Our only agenda is to provide critical news to critical thinkers. Welcome back to Oklahoma Inside Out. I'm Scott J. Hamilton. Our guests today are J. Michael Johnson and Alex Baker from SAFE at the University of Central Oklahoma. We're talking about the College Summit, which occurs this Saturday all day long. Uh, students and other interested folks from around the state of Oklahoma. We, we, as we were going into the break, we were talking about Paula Sophia Schonauer, um, and Alex, you mentioned what a what a great presenter she is, and she just is amazing. And who else is is going to be speaking? I believe uh, Terry Dennison. He's going to be there from um, Planned Parenthood, absolutely. right? Absolutely, another great presenter. Um, and I'm pretty sure the. The uh, B- Diversity Business Association, they're going to be doing a presentation as well. Um, I'm excited to hear from that organization because I haven't really got to hear much from them. I'm, they're brand new, aren't they? I yeah, so. D- DBA is, is uh, brand new, and um, it's really quite amazing the growth that they're enjoying right now. And I think that'll be very interesting for people there and uh, give people a chance to think about where they're spending their money, and that's always a good thing. The... Um, Besides the presenters, though, isn't one of the, the real reasons to have a conference like this for for students from around the state to come together and learn from each other about what's going on and, and how um, how they might be able to, to improve their own presence on campus? Absolutely. I think that's a great uh, reason why we're doing that, uh, because they can see what we're doing. In addition to that, we can also see what other... Um, you know, organizations are doing as well, and we can implement their ideas into ours and kind of just share from, you know, just learning. Now, what, what, how do we register for, for the conference? Is there, um, is there a website we can go to or a phone number to call? Because you, you said it's open to everyone, Alex, and we want to make sure, uh, I guess, that, that everyone gets lunch while they're there, so they need to register in advance. Where, where do we do that? Um, there is a way to register. Um, just go to www.tinyurl.com backslash OK College Summit. Um, and then you go on there and register. We need to register by today at 5 p.m. Um, and then if you don't register, um, you can still go. You just won't get the free T-shirt and the free lunch that comes with registering. Okay. And um, how, how many people all together do you expect that we'll have there? We planned for 150, but by the looks of it, it looks like we're it's increasing even more. <laughs> That's really amazing. Well, I know that Toby Jenkins from OKEQ in Tulsa is going to be uh, there that day. I'm looking forward to it. We, we actually presented uh, together last year, and that was really this the first time we've had a chance to do that. And it was a lot of fun because um, while we do very similar work in Oklahoma City and Tulsa, um, it was fun to see... The, the differences in the way we go about that, and uh, we, we love those kinds of connections. And speaking of connections, I think it's fair to say that the connections that are being made at, uh, at this conference this weekend are connections that could be helpful for a long time to come. Now, were you in Stillwater last year for the conference? I actually was not, but okay. I heard really, really great things about it, and that's why when they said we were going to host it, I was like, I'm on top of it. Let's let's do this. I'm, I'm ready. Because I was talking to a student who actually just graduated from OU uh, last year who was at the conference, and she made some connections that helped her um, get her first job out of school and, and, and just said, you know, this never could have happened had I not been there. And this, this had nothing to do with the presentation. It was a corridor conversation that parlayed itself into a, a friendship and eventually into a job. So that's, that's a really, really positive thing, I think. What, what has reception been around campus about having the conference? Are people, because um, I, I know that we, we talked with uh, Brandon White a while ago from UCO, and he said that no longer do people tear down safe posters. Uh, instead, that there is a, a lot more tolerance. Is there some, some good buzz about the conference on campus? From what I've heard, I've heard nothing but excitement um, and readiness for the conference. Um, I'm an RA there at UCO, and I have residents coming up to me from all different buildings on campus saying, hey, 
when is safe? We really want to go to this summit that's coming up. And um, so I was like, we've got to get some flyers up and ready. So we actually just created some flyers for that. Um, but people are on it. They're ready for it. I'm so excited for Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I'm one uh, um, with the student government, too. I'm the chairman for Human Diver Campus Human Diversity. And in my committee meetings, people are always coming to me and saying, hey, what's going on? Unfortunately, our executive board, which is our um, student body vice president and speaker of the house, everyone there, they won't be able to attend because they're going to another conference. But uh. they really regret that they are but they were really supportive 100 percent with getting this together and hosting this event jay michael you said that, that people are coming up to you from from all over the place saying what's happening i want to be involved are you are you talking about primarily gay students or or straight students as well? Uh, primarily, uh, straight students. Uh, we, really, there's an office. The o, we call it the ODI, the Office of Diversity and Inclusion. It's including you know the um, Black Student Association, NAACP, uh, you know Asian American Student Association. Their presidents have came to me and said, "Hey, we're so excited. We can't wait to go to this event." I want to I want to talk more about that, and we'll do that after we come back from this break. Our guests today, Alex Baker and J. Michael Johnson. Hi, I'm Lorette Taylor, past chair of Cimarron Alliance. I joined the board because I believe in the vision and the work of this organization. We're working every day listening to the concerns of our community and helping to address those very concerns. I hope you will consider supporting Cimarron with a gift. Even $10 a month will help. Working together, we really can achieve equality for all gay Oklahomans. Please visit www.cimarronalliance.org and make your gift today. It's a brand new year and the Oklahoma Observer has a brand new look. We asked our readers what they wanted and we've given it to them. Now the Oklahoma Observer arrives in your mailbox in a convenient magazine format. That means more room for more stories that are important to you. What's more, our online version at www.okobserver.net is updated throughout the day so you have instant access to the news, analysis, and in-depth reporting that you just can't find anywhere else. The legislature will soon be in session and you can count on the Oklahoma Observer to be your eyes and ears at the Capitol and beyond. If you are a progressive Oklahoman, you owe it to yourself to be informed about issues and legislation that impact you, your family, and the LGBT community. Visit www.okobserver.net today. Our only agenda is to provide critical news to critical thinkers. Welcome once again to Oklahoma Inside Out. We are talking about the College Summit, which takes place this Saturday all day long at the University of Central Oklahoma. This is sponsored by the Equality Network, and the host this year is SAFE, which is Students... Allied for Equality? Close. Student Alliance for Equality. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. I, I knew I was going to be in trouble as soon as I started to figure out that acronym. But, J. Michael, just before the break, you said that primarily the people who have shown so much interest are straight allies. Absolutely. That's really, boy, what, what a big change in, in culture. That's wonderful to hear. Absolutely. We get a lot of um, people wanting to come to our meetings like straight allies because they see how we're running. We're actually... Uh, the second largest organization on campus behind the Greek organizations. Uh, the Greeks have a separate um, area that they deal with, but in as terms of membership, we have at least, uh, we're up to 94 members, student organizations. Our organization SAFE is the largest organization this year. That is outstanding. And we, we obviously have to, to give some credit to Dr. Um, David Macy, who, who has been the faculty sponsor and just a brilliant man with uh, great insight and great ability to focus direction and, and vision. I'm going to ask you a personal question, Alex. When when it's all said and done, when you go home Saturday night, what's what's something that's important to you to have accomplished that day? Um, I think really my goal with SAFE and, uh, and basically all areas on campus, I really just want to reach out to that one person that needs to be reached out to. Um, and if that's just a conversation that I'm having at the summit, or if that's them learning something through a speaker that's there, you know, I hope that it's just something, something life changing for one person. That's all that I want. Well, that's a, that's a pretty big goal, but a very admirable one. And I wish you 
every every bit of luck in achieving that not just for yourself but i think that that as we touch people one at a time we make a difference in our community and in our state so that's that's quite laudable in in working on putting everything together all the pieces in place j michael what uh, what has been maybe the most rewarding thing for you the rewarding would be working closely with um, student government, getting the um, getting them to get us the funding for it, and they've been very cooperative, at least one hundred percent cooperative. You know, presenting this and leaving this legacy of you know this is what you know UCO is going to do. In addition to that, since we're hosting this, we can reach out. You know, like what Alex said, uh, reaching out to just that one person, one person, two people, five people, or everyone, uh, just leaving that legacy behind. It's it's a perfect storm right now for safe. The University of Central Oklahoma, with with Safe doing such good work, with people coming to you, and certainly with uh, with the university president who is so open to inclusivity and and in a very public way. So I I, th- I think you guys are poised for some great things, and I I want to say to you on behalf of those of us who are older, thank you, thank you for doing this, thank you for for the work and your commitment to equality for all Oklahomans. Thank you. Give us the, the website one more time, Alex. It is www.tinyurl.com slash OKCollegeSummit. Terrific. You know, one of the things that stands out for me is, as we've talked in this half hour, is that things really are changing. And, and I'm glad that you all are a part of that. And I personally look forward to working with you well beyond your college years as we all work for change. Our guests today have been Alex Baker and J. Michael Johnson from the University of Central Oklahoma. We hope that you will wish them well in the conference this weekend. Our producer is Chris Moyer. Our office coordinator is P.K. Kelly Palmer. Our announcer is Lisa Pizzeri. Cibaron Alliance board co-chairs are Randall Marsh and Catherine Primus. I am so happy that you are here with us today. Please, please tell your friends that we're here 24, rather, (laughs) I'm sorry, 52 weeks a year, new show every week. So from all of us at Cimarron Alliance and Oklahoma Inside Out, I'm Scott J. Hamilton thanking you for joining us. Hang on to the vision of a fair and just Oklahoma. Inside Out is a production of Cimarron Alliance, Central Oklahoma's preeminent LGBT advocacy and education organization. If you have a topic you would like to hear discussed or a person who you would like to hear interviewed, please call 405-495-9300 or email oklahomainsideout at cimarronalliance.org. Please feel free to share the link to this broadcast with your friends. 